we're back at the tiny home property. We spent six hours driving today to get here. There's a cute dog. I'm about to do some mowing. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Is there a mouse in the mower? Well, they were in the dog bed, so probably not. There could be a mouse in the mower still. Here, take a quick look. No, it looks, looks clean. I mean, it doesn't look clean, but it looks <laughs> clean of mice. Look, I've been here for two hours and I already hurt my thumb. Okay. Yip, yip. What are you doing? Phone. I'm putting down a marker so that I can throw my measuring tape Ooh, on it. Wow, fancy man. Easily. Look and I you. can go and examine how wide this pond is going. We be. need five feet. In every direction. There it is. And that's going to be the deepest part of it, five feet circle. And then the part that's going to taper up is going to be up to 10 feet. Um, so you need to keep going eight, nine, 10. So that's how it's a big circle. That's how big the pond's going to be. Great job. What does yours say? A little dirt never hurt anyone, except it made her stinky. Are you dirty stinky? You're dirty stinky now because you were off leash this morning. Uh, we have woken up to a gorgeous morning here at the property. Cut a little bit of grass, as you can see. And what is my husband getting me up to now? He's taking you across the field. We're going for a walk? Yep. Is Ivy coming for a walk? Ivy, do you want to come? I thought she would. Yeah, she's a little adventure dog. Right? Yes, you are. Come on. Let's go. Where are we going? To this little clearing in here? Yeah. Still got our adventure dog? Great. She hasn't stray, strayed away. She loves that stray life. That's what she's known for. Look at our beautiful hay bales. Wow. Some of you may say, yes, it is just a hay bale, but it's a big deal to me because it is my hay bale. All right, what do we have here? A whole lot of nothing. But those trees that we wanted to clear out. Hmm. Is that what we're gonna get your mom and dad to help us with? Yep. When they come? Good job, adventure dog. You're making progress. Let's make some more. Getting back in there? Yeah, you show that grass who's boss. Who's the boss of that grass? I am. Yeah, get it. Yeah. You got a lot done over here. Have I? Yeah, looks like we're getting the entryway back slowly. chain fell off the chainsaw. So Ben has gone back to weed whacking the path. As you can see, it's starting to look like a path again, but a couple of trees still in the way. This is a disaster. I have no idea how we're going to get through that. So explain to me why this happened. I do not know the answer, but my best guess is the chainsaw uh, was had just a little bit of give and it caught on a branch and pulled to the side. Hmm. That's my best guess. And you're tightening it so it doesn't have as much give now? Well, right now I have to put the chain back on the bar. Oh. It's not on properly, hmm. so I have to open it up and fix it. Good morning. It is Thursday and day two of digging the pond. Ivy is trying to take credit for the hole that has currently been dug. She's laying claim to it. When I posted in the ponds 
Facebook group, a lot of people told me that this was not going to be a good enough liner. And a lot of people said that this liner was going to last me two to five years. Even had one guy say that his lasted him 18 years. So I am willing to give it a try as the liner for our pond. Considering it was free 99. We love free 99. Well, hello. What you got? Well, a bunch of stuff. Where'd you go? A yard sale. Oh, weren't you going to drop off water bottles for recycling? I did that too. Wow. Here we go. Oh, you're stuck. Yeah. What did you get? Let's see. How much money did you spend? I spent $80. You got this. I got this saw. Saw the dog crate, which we don't need for our dogs, but we may need it in the future. A mailbox, which would be handy for who knows what. We don't receive mail here. Nobody lives here. You can't get mail. Nobody lives here yet. And then this fencing, which how much was this? That was 10 bucks. 10 bucks. That's cheap considering we've seen it going for a lot more these days. That offsets the cost of this saw. Yeah. Awesome. Good job, honey. Whoa, you're so strong. Wow, amazing. Put it right there, baby. Ooh, rotate it, rotate it so that the out is. Yeah. Oh, we gotta, we gotta level it. Okay, one second. Excuse me, sir, did you just put your drink on my mailbox? I did. That's a really handy surface, isn't it? Very, very. And at night, if we don't wanna put our tools in the shed, we can just shove our gardening tools in here. Ooh. And when we're not here, mice can live in it. Mice can make a hotel of it. Oh, this is like the top of the, this is like the uh, penthouse suite for the mice. What'd you just find in there? That's huge. The soil is surprisingly rocky. We'll have a hard time growing carrots if we decide to. We'll have to do a really good job tilling. Yeah. The rock pile has certainly grown, but so has the pond. Good job. Oh, it's another rock. There's no rocks in here. Right, I haven't seen a single one. Not a single rock in the whole pile. Maybe a boulder. It's Ben versus a boulder. At first I thought the boulder I found was the biggest one, but this is a contender. <sighs> Look at it, it's coming out. Oh, can you lift it? Wow, look at it. Oh, it's a boulder, <laughs> it's beautiful. We're at the stage of the pond build where we put a piece of cardboard on the spots that are a little bit rocky because this really isn't meant for what we're doing, obviously. Here it is, by the way, isn't she beautiful? Little donut butthole in the ground, so cute. As you can see, very rocky, very rocky. Not a single rock. Anyway, we're gonna put the cardboard down in there. Then we're gonna put the liner and see, see how it goes. The cardboard is in the bottom. Now the liner goes in. The mystery is, does she hold water? We'll have to wait to find out. She walks with such purpose. Let's trot along. Checking out the perimeter. Ah, ah! Too far. Good girl. Is it good?
It's a farm party today. Sunday, September 15th. Feeling like fall in the morning and summer in the daytime. So around noon, the time it currently is, temperatures like 27 Celsius, hot, sweaty, summer type temperatures. And then at nighttime, it cools down to like 10 to 14 Celsius, just warm enough we don't need to use the wood stove in the tiny home. However, the next time we come, we definitely will need to use the wood stove, which is part of why cutting up that wood back there and getting access to the trail is so important. Since we had some dead trees come down in the spring, um, we're trying to get access to the path again. So Ben's parents are here helping us with that. Ben's out there cutting the old dead trees with the chainsaw and we're loading wood into the truck to bring it over here to the fire pit. Yes, we could do it with our Kia, but it is very helpful to have Ben's parents assisting with this task. Your parents came. That is accurate. And your dad has this knack of making us have a stop work order and feeding us, drip feeding us, cans of Corona. It's been Corona this whole time. It's always Corona. It's always Corona. And we always say yes because we don't want to turn your dad down. Because we love appeasing your parents. We want to make your parents happy and we love that your dad is having a good time coming out at the property and helping work. But as soon as you guys were done in the field, what happened? The beer came out. The beer came out and they left us with beer, which is bound to ruin the rest of our day. <laughs> any plans we may have had have gone out the window so now we're just enjoying the stop work order and we hope you're having a good Sunday too today is Monday and it's also the day that we take all of this dirt push it up against the pool liner so we can make a berm. A proper berm. A proper berm. There's all the dirt for a berm. We're just going to make it happen. So let's do that final sculpting work since I made a mess. We. Yeah. We, we made a it. mess. We're taking a break for lunch, which today is Annie's white cheddar pasta and a salad kit. This is one of my favorites and it's a really quick meal, especially for days today when we're doing big projects. I only wanna be in here for 15 or 20 minutes making us food so we can get back to it, which is what we're gonna do right after we eat. Did lunch help fuel the backhoe? Seems like we can get a few more wor hours worth of work out of it. Yeah. A few more hours? Wow. Few more hours. I think she turned out very cute. What do you think? I'm so excited to dump a jug of water in here and see what happens. Not bad for a pond made out of a pool liner. All these rocks were free, came out of the ground or from that corner over there. Except for the feet, obviously. And we got a bit of a north, south, east, west thing going on with the feet. To start off the water in the pond, 
and we're going to put some of this in there and some of the other jugs too. Oh, it's heavy. Everything is heavy after lifting 300 rocks. Looks like it holds water to me. Let's get more. What's there left to do? Pick up a few stray rocks, rake out the last of this berm, and sit back and enjoy the new pond. Wait for it to fill with rainwater, I guess. Oh, yeah, there'll be a lot of waiting. A lot of waiting. Today is Tuesday. You're dressed like you're about to do something. I am about to do something. Yeah, uh, vroom, 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 yip, yip, yip. It's got a vroom, vroom, vroom. It's got a bit of a yip, yip, yip. It's got a buzz. What about me? Do I have some hand clip, clip, clips? If you'd like them. Yeah, I want to join you for the fun. Then I'll go get you some. Thanks. It's about 3 p.m. Done a bit of work down in here. Sweaty day. Oh, tripping off a whole bunch of sticks and stumps and whatnot we got the mower in here the mower is actually at the end of the trail right now but we're going to try to clear up some of these smaller saplings that shouldn't be here widen up the trail a little bit i will show you all the work we did on the trail tomorrow but right now we're doing stuff with dogs come on good girl ivy Smart, now you wait. Good boy, Abra. Now you wait. 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 Go! Go! Abra needs his leash attached because he wanders and he is not reliable. Good morning. It's Wednesday the 18th. We're what it's wednesday my dudes <laughs> we're trying to figure out this uh, is it i wouldn't even call it an automatic chainsaw sharpener it doesn't say automatic it's like a something that is supposed to help you sharpen it but we're having a bit of a tough time figuring it out so i'll let you know if we get it working ben's parents are coming back today inevitably there will be a stop work order from his dad so we are going to get as much work as we can done on this little trail today. What happened? Everything went wrong. Ugh. While Ben is off trying to fix the chainsaw, there's this rock right in the middle of the path. That is a tripping hazard. I'm going to try to she-hulk this out. Oh my god, there's roots. I'm getting stuck on the raspberries. This is, this is something. I am a strong, independent woman. I don't need no man in my life to dig up a rock. I don't need no fucking man. Oh, look at that. What'd I tell you? I don't need no man. I don't need no fucking man. Oh, yeah. Ooh. That fucking sexy thing. Oh, yeah. I don't need no man. I don't need one, but I definitely want one now. Oh, wow. Let's clean this all out. Good stuff a pillow with all that. You're gonna get shamed on the internet for it. I know, that's why we're taking it out and cleaning it right now. The maintenance is done. Hopefully. There is about like a beaver's home's worth of sawdust in there. But we got it out. And now you're gonna cut some of these trees. 
widen the path a little bit more. Look at the sun shining through there. I was trying to be optimistic, but even after we cleaned her up, she still is smoking. I don't know if you can see it on camera. It was way more prominent before. It's cooling down, but we're still troubleshooting. It's gonna be a long day. The chainsaw didn't work. We gotta fix that. Ben's gonna work on that. However, we did start this cute little woven fence for no particular reason other than to define the trail. These trees were just in such a perfectly straight line, it's hard not to take advantage of that. We'll have to figure out something for the other side. Our neighbors are having a fire. A really big honking fire and of course I have like a perfect view of it as well right through the tree line oh my goodness it's raining ash on me good morning Good morning, babies. It's our last full day here. We're doing a shutdown, pack down day today, which means what, honey? I gotta dig a hole so we can empty the compost bucket. Dig a hole, put away the wood chipper, which hopefully we can get some chipping done today. I don't know, it's looking kind of spooky out here this morning. Shouldn't stop us from anything though, Shouldn't right? Stop us from wood chipping. No, we can wood chip in the, in the Silent Hill. Oh, good girl. It hasn't rained, but we did put a bit of water in the pond. And because of that, it has attracted the frogs. Yes, he can get out. We are both really concerned, which is why I put this little like pot with a rock. Uh, they've been in the bottom level. There's two of them that were up here having a fun time. So Ben and I are very excited, aren't we? <laughs> that we have frogs in a pond. And they're frogs. They're not like toads and they're not stuck in there. They're choosing to go in there, so that's awesome. Halloween in the morning, summertime in the midday. It's so hot right now. It was beautiful this morning. UV radiation is real. <sighs> We're out here to do the chipping. We've got some beautiful piles of sticks. And we've got a hole to fill in from the rock I dug out of the ground. Aren't you so proud of me for that? Super proud of you. <sighs> Love that. That's what I live for. We're going to put wood chips all in here. Don't know how many wood chips we're going to get out of this three pile of sticks, but I'm sure we could find more sticks to chip in there somewhere. We mulched the majority of the wood pile out here. There's this little pile of sticks. We got four bags of mulch, which honestly doesn't really go that far. We don't have an industrial sized mulcher. <laughs> so we filled in this big hole where the rock was. So there's no tripping has, oh, I say that and I trip at the same time. And then there's this little dip in the path here too. So we put a little mulch in there to hopefully even things out. But eventually, obviously, we'd prefer to have the entire path mulched. What do you think? One day the whole path will be, but you can, you can only start doing a whole path one section at a time. Yeah. And we started with the tripping hazards. Yeah, I think it was a good choice. <laughs> I think we've had this for maybe two months, three months. A little while. This summer. It's new. Mm -hmm. And it's a pump that you charge and you use for your shower. And I'll show you, it turns on still. So it's at 60%, but it has stopped pumping. And I would never turn it on without it being in water, but it actually broke during this trip. It just stopped pumping water on the night that we were a little bit tipsy. So we were very confused as to whether this was a user error or the pump just failed. And the answer is- The pump failed. The pump failed. 
So we're going to get a new one. We're going to use Jeffrey's free exchange service. Yeah, we to love that. Replace get this it. Replaced. Yeah, because it's pretty much brand new. Yeah. Thank goodness we set up this little outdoor shower. Because we would be screwed without it right now. Last supper at the property tonight. We've got curly pasta with some feta, some green pepper, and some onion. Ooh, and some little miniature nan breads. We worked so hard packing up today so that tomorrow we can hopefully leave before 10 or 11 a.m. Hopefully, fingers crossed. But I think it's time to play some games. So you have two choices. We have this little mini trouble. Is it called trouble? Yeah. And this is Battleship. Ooh. What do you What do you want to play? Ooh. Well, let's get into trouble. Ooh. Wow. We are just about ready to leave. We're in our last hour. And one of the final things we need to do is pick our pumpkins. Overall, almost everything we planted did really well. Uh, the corn struggled and the watermelon struggled, but I'm not totally surprised about that. However, we did get some beautiful pumpkins. Do it right here, as close as you can. Wow. The other guy's bigger. Oh my goodness. Beautiful He's pumpkins. looking great. Only two pumpkins though? There are a few stragglers, like this guy. Hasn't turned orange fully yet. And this guy, who is a weird shape. But we're going to be coming back very, very soon. So hopefully when we do come back, these have turned orange. Here they are, looking as glorious as ever. The dogs are whining because they're anxious. We're just about to leave. And that wraps it up for this farm video. Thanks for coming along. I think we accomplished a lot, don't you?